Okay, last lecture, we are talking about transformation of vector in two dimension. Yeah. So we have discussed what is global coordinate, and then we transform the same vector, in this case, vector D from origin O to this uh, red dot. And then we transform it to a local coordinate axis with the x prime and y prime with the yellow color on the screen. The same vector, we transform it to the red color uh, component. So uh, we didn't change our vector D, but we are changing our axis here. So from x, y axis, the blue color axis, and then we transform it to a yellow color axis. So from here, we build an equation, which is our vector d here will be equal to u, which is the white color arrow, u, which is a magnitude u because it's in the x direction, and v is in y direction. So d equal to ui plus vj, okay, equal to a red color, this d magnitude, uh, d vector, was same uh, with, uh, we take the U prime, which is O to C and C to B. That's why we will have UI, uh, U, U prime, uh, I prime plus uh, V prime, J prime. Okay, so any question on uh, this equation? Any one of you have any question or not clear why we can write this equation? Katana, is that okay for you? Uh, a little bit uh, for now. Okay, so now now you clear, right? Yes. Okay, uh, good. But... Yeah. So uh, this concept is very important because uh, later on uh, we will have a lot of transformation uh, involved in this kind of concept. So this is the fundamental. So if you get lost uh, or you, you're not sure what y d equal to this equation, you better go and uh, refresh yourself on the previous lecture. Yeah, so uh, this is important. And also there will be a question come out from, from this chapter. Your test will be coming in, at, I think, in another two to three weeks time. So make sure you know, yeah. Okay, and uh, just a reminder, our angle positive when our global, which is our blue color axis, rotate anticlockwise to the local coordinate. Okay, our angle is positive when we have a anticlockwise direction. Okay, the next one, we explain, uh, how we transform, right? How we transform. So now that this slide uh, basically we also covered in our previous uh, lecture, we in we transform, yeah, we transform the previous uh, equation, this one, the u v u prime v prime with the uh, length of all these line. Okay, so u equal to O A. The length of OA, V equal to AB, uh, U prime, which is a red color, length is OC, and V prime equal to CB. So we try to build all these relationships. For example, what is OC? OC is OD, again, D direct D. Uh, D position is not this point, but is somewhere here, okay, with the green color line here, okay. So I already explained how to get this position. So if you're not clear again, go back to the previous lecture and listen to it, okay. And then we transform. We start to transform OD, which is here to this location. OD, 
Again, uh, OD is not here. OD is the green arrow here. OD equal to you take this triangular and then call back your trigonometry concept. Theta is here. So OD equal to OA cos theta. Okay. We can also write as U cos theta. Another one is your DC, which is here. The green arrow here, DC, is equal to the length of AE here. Again, you are seeing another triangular. So triangular, you can use the trigonometry. Theta is here. So you want to find here, you have uh, V. So you use sine, V sine theta equal to DC. And your U prime, which is uh, O to C, your U prime, the red color arrow, equal to uh, this. OD plus DC, so you combine these two equations, you get this one. Okay. La, you okay with these slides? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Singy, you alright? Yes. Okay, good. Now, we continue with another line called CB, which is here. CB, this uh, red color arrow, CB, equal to you take the length of uh, BE minus CE. BE, B to E, minus the length of CE. So, we need to find the trigonometry also. So, AD, it is here, AD, uh, AD, this one. AD equal to o, uh, OA sine theta. So AD, this one, you use this uh, uh, triangular. You use triangular of ODA. You have a theta here. You intend to find what is AD. AD equal to OA sine theta or you can replace with U sine theta. And BE, BE, you can use uh, triangular of ABE, ABE, you have another triangular. So you have a theta here. So how to find the length of BE? You use trigonometry again. So B equal to AB sine, ah, sorry, cos theta, then you also can write as V cos theta. Okay, so this is all these uh, trigonometry. Okay, then you replace all these terms inside this equation. CB equal to BE minus AD. Okay, so we can rewrite our V prime. V prime equal to negative U sine theta plus V cos theta. Yeah. Uh, why we need why we write our u in front instead of v in front because later on we will need to put everything in a matrix form, so we need to arrange everything in the um, uh, similar term. Okay, so just now what we covered is just uh, introduction of how you get uh, u prime and v prime in the. Um, U and V term with their angle. Okay, so we put in a matrix form again. So you need to know how to transform uh, the above these two equation into a matrix form. Uh, okay, so if you haven't mastered the skill, go and look into Appendix A in the Moodle. Yeah, go and look into Appendix A and look into Moodle. Right. Uh, because you're already in your final year, so um, you already master some study skill. All right. So transform um, equation into matrix form. You get this form. U prime, V prime on the left hand side equal to C. C is cos. All right. 
cos and sine. So this is u v. That's why just now, uh, when we uh, develop the v prime equation, we uh, put the negative u in front. So uh, when you write the v prime matrix, you will have negative sine negative x, uh, negative s, and positive c here. V and then V on the right hand side. Okay, so this from above two equation to matrix form is quite direct. Any one of you need me to show you how to put in their respective position? Or you do not know how to uh, change equation into matrix form? Singy, you okay? Okay. Okay, right. So we move on. So uh, in this case, this matrix form, um, you can write in a, a more general term, which is we can write D prime equal to T D. So D prime represent the left hand side uh, displacement. Uh, and the D on the right-hand side rep represent displacement on the right-hand side. So again, the prime, the term with the prime referring to the local position or local axis or local coordinate, which is represent the yellow axis on the screen here. Okay, the term with the prime with the comma, they represent all the term you look from or you refer to the yellow axis here. And then the one on the right without the prime, which is a normal term that we learned in chapter two, the U and V here represent the blue color axis here, the X and Y, the normal X and Y. Okay, so the left hand side, we call it local axis uh, component. The right hand side here, the U and V without the comma, this one we call it as a global uh, axis or global position. Both are uh, displacement. Only what is the difference is the uh, axis. So uh, this equation, this metric equation, tell us the relationship between local and global. So uh, in short, we write D prime means displacement in a local axis or local uh, dimension equal this C S minus S C. This one is a transformation matrix. It's a conversion matrix that we use to convert uh, local axis data to global data. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, so this is, uh, you use a T, T is a transformation axis, which is this one. Uh, D is, again, D is a global axis uh, uh, displacement. Okay, so again, uh, all these are explained already. So uh, what is transformation matrix? Uh, you, the detail you can refer to appendix A again. Yeah? Okay, then we look at one example. So this is uh, in your tutorial handout, question number six. Yeah, question number six. So uh, let's say you have uh, a bar with this uh, inclined with a 60 degree from the X axis. So let's say you have a bar and this bar was inclined from X uh, axis, uh, 60 degree. The length is one to two, and we have x, y, and uh, x prime here. So we will have uh, x prime is a local axis, y, x is a global axis. So what does the question have for us? The global nodal displacement at node two has been determined to be u2 equal to 0 0.1 meter, u, uh, u2 equal to 0 0.1 meter, 
V2 equal to 0 0.2 meter for the bar element shown in figure uh, below. Determine the X displacement at not 2. So you are given the uh, at point 2, your displacement at U here. You are given displacement U2. Why I know this direction? Because U represent X direction. U2 and we have V2 here. The value here, we need to find uh, the local displacement. We need to find U2 prime. This is what question want us to find. Okay, We are given the, glo uh, the global displacement. We need to find the local displacement at point number two, which is U prime two. Okay. So you call call out your uh, our derivation just now. Your U prime equal to U cos theta plus V sine theta, and your V prime equal to negative U sine theta plus V cos theta. Okay. So these two equation. If you're not clear of their derivation, go back to the previous slide to refer. Okay. So um, we have these two equations to help us to solve this question. Again, U prime V prime is referring to uh, local displacement. U represent for the X component, V for the Y. So we are long, only looking for X direction in this question. Of course, uh, in, in your final or in your test, you need to find more value. Okay. And uh, this is another two. So, uh, so what we do is that because the, the question only asks us uh, displacement and not number two, so we modify the equation. The, this equation, u prime equal to u cos theta v sine theta. We change with the notation, u prime two means not number two at local axis, equal u two cos theta plus v two sine theta. Okay. Then you just uh, replace the value inside here. You get the displacement at point number two in x direction. Okay. So this is just a reference answer for this one. Okay, so this is uh, how we how we use for uh, the, the previous equation just now. All right, we move on. The next one we look at um, a global axis also. So. Okay, this is your tutorial question number seven, All right? So we need to uh, uh, derive our matrix again for a bar that are inclined with the theta. All right, now previously what we do is we only look at the transformation of axis. Now we have a case where we have bar that inclined with the angle theta here. So we have a bar inside our system and we have two axes here so again y and x is global global axis and we have local axis Global axis is x and y. Local axis is y prime x prime. 
Okay, one very short question. Uh, Lai, this question is for you. Y and X axis is known as what? Global axis or local axis? Global axis. Okay, correct. All right, good. Now we move on, yeah? And what is all this uh, notation on the screen here? So um, again, one represent point one or node one to point two. L is the length from node one to node two. And again, uh, Katana, this question is for you. Theta, when we say positive, what is the direction? Uh, pardon, sir. The theta, the angle here, when we yeah. say it's positive, what yeah. is the direction? It goes it is clockwise the... or anti clockwise? Anti clockwise. Anti clockwise, positive, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. excellent. All right, so again, uh, all these uh, have to be clear when we have the transformation. Um, yeah, so this equation, uh, F equal to KD, I think um, all of you know uh, since chapter one. So F equal to KD, and um, every time if you see a small F or a small K, it refer to a local uh, coordinate, all right? So, and then call back uh, what we uh, covered uh, before this when we have a bar, because uh, when you have again with that when you have a spring, your equation your Hooke's law f equal to kx. But when you have a bar, they're able to behave like a steel. So your bar you will need to consider the modulus Young and the strain. So your equation will be F equal to AE divided by L times the uh, displacement, okay? So this is uh, how you derive, yeah? There is a difference between spring and bar. So spring, you only see K here. However, if you have a bar, then you will have the area, you have the, the modulus Young and the length here. So be careful to choose the correct equations. In this case, we have bar, so that's why our matrix here become AE divided by L and one minus one minus one, one. This actually, you want to repeat to, to write also can. You want to uh, write your stiffness matrix at this form also can, but it's a bit lengthier. Minus AE over L, minus AE over L and AE well, both correct, but uh, this is more convenient. Yeah. So in exam, if you write like this, also correct, but uh, it's more convenient you write in this one. Yeah. Because we like the simple form like that. Okay. So uh, we transform the diagram into uh, the metric that we learned before this. Yeah. So U prime, F prime, all these refer to the uh, local axis. Okay, so we move on. <clears throat> then we relate what we learned uh, just now. We, co we, we convert the local axis into, uh, we use the information of um, the, the matrix so just now, just a refresh back this equation, all right? So U prime or D prime equal to transformation uh, and the D. So we use the global axis times the transformation matrix, we get the local axis, right? Again, how you get local, uh, local axis information, you, you take the transformation uh, matrix, transformation matrix times the global matrix, right? Transformation matrix times the global information. So in this case, we have the same approach also. 
So um, when we have a global dimension, again, uh, this one, it should be capital F here. Yeah? Uh, it should be capital F, uh, typo error here. It should be capital F and capital K here. Yeah? Um, just a, a note in your side note. So uh, there's a typo error here. We shouldn't use a uh, small f. Uh, yeah, we can use actually uh, because we are related to uh, uh, the global axis because uh, um, uh, the topic here, because I don't want you to, to confuse. Yeah? So um, just now what we have here is D, K and D. So uh, we are comparing displacement. So one with the prime on the left will be equal to uh, K times the uh, global dimension, uh, global displacement here. So yeah, in this case, I think uh, we can go ahead with the small f. Only uh, want you to aware that uh, why we, we use the small f here, because we have this uh, conversion equation here, which is D prime equal to K times the D. So again, uh, local on the left, global on the right. Yeah. So you convert to this form. Okay, convert to this form. Um, <clears throat> um, okay, if you look at the equation on the screen on the uh, right hand corner here, so uh, this is just a general uh, matrix that we refer to uh, this diagram because we know that uh, when we convert point one, we will have a uh, component to the X and Y. That's why we write F1X and F1Y. And component two, we also have two uh, component. We can convert to X and Y also. Yeah. That's why in matrix on the left hand side, we can write F1X, F1Y, F2X, F2Y. And then K here later, we will discuss what is this K in the detail. So displacement on the uh, right hand side here, also same. So each point have two displacement, one to the uh, left uh, along the X axis, and then one to the Y axis along this one. Okay, so this is just a general idea. Uh, when you write the uh, force uh, for the global dimension, you you need to look at the the, the diagram here. Yeah. So if you have two points free to move, then uh, each one will give you uh, two freedom, x and y, x and y. So in total, you have four uh, degree of freedom. So one point give you two two movement, one point give you two movement. Total, you have four. Uh, degree of freedom here. Same with your uh, displacement. Okay. So now we're going to derive the the point here. So the first, uh, if you look at the screen now, the first uh, uh, point we look at is point one, and displacement at point one in the local axis. Local axis with the prime, yeah. So we can convert this one to the blue color uh, axis just now. Yeah. So U1, you convert to uh, the X axis uh, with the theta. So again, we use back all the equation that we learned uh, just now. Yeah. So U prime equal to U1 cos theta plus V1 sine theta. So all these are trigonometry direct conversion. Yeah u1 equal to uh, this component plus this component. Yeah, so you should know how to uh, draw also. u prime 1 with the vector. Yeah, start point to end point. So u1, u, uh, v1, like that. So uh, this term is this one. And this term is this one. 
And point number two also same approach. Point number two also move. So there's a displacement with the prime. Why prime? Because it was on the local axis. So we can convert into two axis uh, on the global axis also. So it means the blue color. So we have U2 and V2. Uh, same approach also. Uh, we will have U2 cos theta plus V2 sine theta. So this is quite straightforward from uh, the diagram over here. Okay. So we put again, put uh, these two equations into a matrix form. Okay. Before I show you the answer, I want to ask you to fill in the blank on the screen here. All right. Now again, uh, question go to uh, Singhi. So uh, this component is uh, global or local? Global or local? Local. Local, yeah. So this is correct. Local. Okay, uh, live. This one, this component, uh, matrix on the right here, it is global or local? Mm, global. Global is correct. Okay. Uh, Katana, can you fill in the blank on the left here? What should we write? We want to transform this equation into matrix form. Katana, what should we feel? What should we write here on the left here? Katana, are you there? Okay, Katana missing. Okay, uh, we continue. Uh, okay, we continue with the question. Lai, can you help to fill in the blank on the left? What should we write here? Uh, U prime at U one one. one. Is that? U two prime. Okay, correct. Uh, Singhi, can you fill in the global displacement? On the right, what, what should we fill in here? U and V. U1 and V2, uh, yeah? Yeah. All right. So, and then uh, this one. Singhi, can you fill in the, the first top corner? What should we write here? Cost. Sign. Cos and sign. Uh, lie. Here. Cos and sign. Correct. All right. So both of you know how to convert already. So it is good. So uh, again, um, be careful when you write your your matrix just now, um, because uh, your your matrix here need to compatible with your displacement. Again, if you write your matrix location, U1, V1, U2, V2. So when you uh, write your, mat your, your matrix, yes, just now uh, our answer is cos sine Cos sine. Uh, the, 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 the concept is correct, but when you want to convert this one, you need to convert correctly. So, because cos sine above refer to u1, v1, and cos sine below refer to u2, v2, which is um, a bit weird if you put uh, in, in this location. We need to put in more uh, a range. Uh, uh, sequence. So when you write your matrix, uh, be careful to have the correct sequence. So again, uh, put them in the correct uh, coordinate. So uh, we will have our matrix in this form like you see on the screen here. So we will have cosine 0, 0 because we 
for the first uh, column here, we don't have uh, our U2, but uh, for the second column or second row here, we, we, we don't have a uh, term for our U1 and U, uh, V1 here. So that's why we put zero, zero. Okay, so we need to be careful in this. So let me check with Katana. So Katana, uh, what happened just now? I was traveling from uh, from my place to school. That's why the job went off. Uh, okay. Right. We discuss about that. All right. So okay. So we have convert the two equation into matrix form. So again, be careful on uh, the location that you put in, yeah. So I, I think should have no problem on on this one. Just I need to remind you guys on the uh, the sequence that you write. So in exam, don't write on the top uh, right corner here. Don't don't write don't write in this form, but write in the correct sequence with zero zero uh, on the top because here we have one two three four. Yeah, so we, we here we, we we must also have the uh, uh, four times two. Here we have uh, 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 no, it's two times four times. Yeah, but anyway, uh, what is important is the, the location, yeah, for the uh, cost and sign term. Okay, so in short, in short, we can write in d prime means the displacement in local equal transformation star times the global displacement. So by having this kind of uh, notation, so T star, it means transformation matrix for uh, this, this uh, in this case. So uh, when you have a bar with a positive anticlockwise uh, direction, so when we want to do conversion from, uh, uh, from the global position, you take global position times the transformation matrix you get local. So this is the standard uh, matrix that we're looking at. Yeah. So yeah. So this is just uh, quite straightforward. What is a T star here? T star is just a transformation matrix that convert uh, global to uh, local. Quite straightforward. Yeah. Okay. So um, it will be the same. Uh, this just now what we look at is the displacement. It will be the same for the forces also because the force and the displacement all happen in the same axis. So we can write the same transformation transformation uh, matrix on the forces. So force on the left, the local on the left equal to uh, transformation matrix times the the forces on the global axis. Okay, so uh, this is two times four, four times one. Yeah. Okay, so this is the the uh, matrix. So you have a uh, two times four. Two times four means a two row, four column matrix. Four times one means. Uh, Four row, one column. So if you times uh, two times four matrix, uh, you take two times four matrix uh, uh, times the four times uh, one matrix. Okay. If you learn in your calculus, you will get four times four cancel. The product will be two times one matrix with this this one. Yeah, two times one matrix, two row one matrix. So make sure the the structure is balanced when you write the matrix. Yeah. So this is the uh, important. So most of the mistakes student will will forget about the zero zero here. Yeah. First one you look at the displacement that you have, then you design the matrix. Okay. 
Um, it's quite uh, the concept is quite uh, is same with the displacement just now. You apply for the force, yeah. So uh, there's there's nothing uh, complex here. Okay. Um, okay. So um, just now we look at force. Force prime equal to T star uh, and the force. So uh, just now we look at the displacement. And uh, yeah, the displacement and force. So also T star here. So we, we recall uh, what we learned so far, the D prime and F prime. And our F prime, we have our K prime here. So we want to convert these two into a one formula. Okay. So we can write F prime equal to K prime and take the T star times the D. Okay, now we know that uh, D just now our D prime equal to T star times D. And our previously what we learned is F equal to KD. F equal to KD. So what we do is we take this equation. And substitute into here. We will get F prime equal to K prime T star D, this is just a uh, derivation of uh, equation. You just substitute inside here by uh, using the earlier, I think chapter one equation, F equal to KD. So, um, and then we develop the transformation matrix later on. Okay, move on. Yeah, I move on there. Yeah. So after that, you take this equation, substitute here. Okay, you take this equation, substitute here. You'll get this one. T star times the F uh, matrix. Right, done it. Equal to K prime T star T. So far, we're just uh, combining equation only. Right. So again, what is happening here? We take D prime equal to T star D. This is what we learned uh, this morning. All right, we take the first equation. And then we call what we learned before this, F equal to KD. We substitute for the local axis, this one into here. And then recall the F prime with the transformation matrix into the left hand side. So we get this set of equation. Okay, now we have a two set equation on the uh, right hand corner here. We will write our relationship uh, between our global matrix. So we must have an invert T star here, yeah? So there's, uh, there's, there's, there's one problem when you do the transformation. Um, we don't have a square matrix at the moment. We don't have a square matrix. Uh, in this form, if you expand all this uh, equation, we don't have a square matrix. What do I mean by square matrix? Square matrix means you will have um, A, B, B, A. Means this is a square. Uh, if you have A, B, C, A, B, C, then you, this is not a square. But if you have A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, then you have a square. This is not a square. This is a square. Okay. So square means uh yeah is, is you have a square form. ABC ABC means you have a rectangular form. Why? Because you you can see from here the 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 matrix that we have here is a rectangular form. It's a rectangular form. We need 
we need a square form. Okay, we need a square form, which means we need to uh, we need to derive an uh, equation that can transform a uh, four times two equation to four times four matrix. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. In a later section, we will explain how to convert a T prime or T star here into a square matrix. Yeah. So uh, we will stop here. Let me go for a short break. Yeah. Let me stop the recording.